English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Sorry for the interruption. Sorry for the interruption, guys, but please don't mind that bad language because in today's episode, we have some English fails, some slip of the tongues, and the worst English speaking people that you've never seen before. She feeling with the, the, she felt the, 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 so to begin with, let's start off with a woman who's been making headlines on the web because of her reporting skills. I concept Wow, this is so in-depth. I didn't know you knew so much about the International Film Festival. So, do you like watching movies? Why would you come to the International Film Festival to watch movies? I mean, come on. And then, she introduced the governor of Goa as the governor of India. I mean, pfft. Okay, so we have Governor of India right here and we would like to share something with you. How are you doing? And then she just started rambling on about some other random shit. I'm sure India ki tarakki zarur ho rahi hai. Just apna dil thaam ki khade rahi hai. Khade nahi hai toh thik hai, no problem. Aap bed bhi sakte hai, kyunki bed ke dekhne mein hi bohat zada maza aata hai. Fuck up you cunt! So let's move on to a bunch of talented people doing their very best to speak in English and let's do our best to try and interpret what they are saying. Here's a Pakistani cricketer talking absolute shit. Everyone bowling very well. Not that's the way. Our board is not big total. <laughs> but early on is a two early wickets is out. He enjoyed batting at number three in the top in the top order for Pakistan in one day. Yeah, I'm enjoy every number, not my fixed number. So here's another Pakistani cricketer doing something that he was not born to do. First time I'm standing like that time in the in a uh, uh, wicket. So I'm very well enjoyed the batting when they bouncer for me. Yeah, they hurts my one leg, left uh, and uh, left arm, right arm, my chest, my every way. <laughs> and now the Pakistani beauty who holds the title of the worst English ever, Mira. We will be the we will be the back. We will be the back. After right, we will be the back. We will be the back. After right, short break. No, 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 no. The toilet kiti dure yahan se? Ah, no. She wasn't asking for twilight. She was asking for the toilet. Fashion, photog, 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 photograph. Photographer. I hate to cut you off. I hate. I hate. I hate cut you off. <laughs> I hate cut you off. Sorry, yeah. one second. Mujhe paani mil jayega. A moment of silence for Ren and Martin. Well, if you guys think that Pakis are the only ones who speak terrible English, well, I'm here to correct you. Here's India's number one terrible English speaking person. Our tooth not only felt. Now it is um, another thing also. Uh, as part of it. No, no. Yeah. After five years, uh, after ten years, every each and every parents are trying. No, to shut the fuck up. You know you can understand when people who don't speak English regularly get it wrong sometimes, but when people who do speak English regularly get it wrong, well, it's a lot more fun. Correct me if I'm wrong. Tickets online at Pick a Dick. Pick. <laughs> the third straight loss, 6 4 to Philly last night. Penis, penis. Pete Harness on the mound. Broward Sheriff's deputies arrest a man who they say has more pussy, more pussy than he can handle. On the KTLA Morning News recently, this big showdown between the titties, the titties, uh, the cities. Six officers were killed, including the district's top cock. Top cock after. Wow, that was like a whole lot of cocked and pussy on primetime television. So now I have a brave man for you calling President Obama Osama. Of this country, including Osama, uh, you know, not, not, uh, Obama. <laughs> now here's the bravest one of all. He calls Osama bin Laden Obama bin Laden while standing right next to the president himself. I mean, wow. Where the Taliban has been gaining strength and Obama bin Laden is still at large. I think that was Osama bin Laden. 
So that's all for this episode of Sorry for the Interruption. I hope you guys liked it. And as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. But before I sign off, here's a reporter who's got some mind blowing news for us. J Lo's new song, Jenny from the Block, all about Lopez roots, about how she's still a neighborhood gal at heart. But folks from that street in New York, the Bronx section, sound more likely to give her a curb job than a blow job, than a blow job, or a blo block party. The New York Post, which, sorry about that slip up there. I have no idea how that happened, but it won't happen again. And that's your news. And the G-Block, as Fox reports this Monday, November the 4th, 2002. And still ahead, the most watched prime time in all of cable news. Period! Starting with this guy at a baseball game, having a ball. Tony.